Hey, welcome back. We were doing stuff and succeeding at Final Fantasy. And and talking about any other RPG that isn't Final Fantasy. <laughs> so we've been going on and on about Skyrim, but but God help me. So to everybody who doesn't know, uh, a quick helpful fact is uh, up until two days ago was the first time I've ever played Elder Scrolls V. Which is kind of weird because I'm a big fan of the series ever since uh, Morrowind. Mm -hmm. And um, I just never had, never wanted to spend the money on it. And then, of course, Steam sales. So yeah, now I own that and Dark Souls and Final Fantasy VII and what else? The Half Life episodes and blah, 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 other stuff. I I literally just purchased more crap that was only ten dollars. Get me cool games. I'm a, yeah, I'm a whore for that. Steam sales. Yeah. I have to said that I bought all those two minor games and can't play them. Yeah. Because I need a controller. Yeah. Yeah, th these old console games. Like, right now I'm playing on a controller with this, so... Yeah. Like, I would buy the PS2 or PS3, whatever it is, controller just for Tomb Raider, but I imagine that uh, games that I already have difficulty with, like TF2, would be much easier if I used the controller as well. And it seems like you would need a 360 controller for those types of things because there's so many key bindings necessary. Right on. I wonder how League would be with a controller. Probably not very good because it's oh. like... Oh, it'd probably be fucking impossible. Be fucking impossible. Yeah, so like, I probably wouldn't do that, but TF2 is not going to try. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh... You can play it... I mean, it's a first-person shooter, so you can play it with a controller, but honestly... I, I could not imagine myself playing Team Fortress 2 with a controller. There's just too many, too many finite moves I want to pull off. No, oh, here comes Hell Bomber. Oh. I wonder how weapons would be, how how weapon like uh, collection would work with a controller. What do you mean? Well, you know how all the weapons are like a one through five or something like that on PS2. Yeah, how? it's a um. I think a button just cycles through them all. Is there? Yeah. But I mean, it's, uh, for the most part, like with spies, you get like five choices, which two of them aren't technically weapons. It's like disguises and cloaking, whatever. But mm -hmm. for the most part, with everything else, it's, uh, you get three weapons. You get your main, your sidearm, and your melee weapon. Mm -hmm. So it would, uh, yeah, you just use that to cycle. I have, I mean, I have the orange box for the 360. I used to screw around with TF2 before I actually played TF2. Mm -hmm. And, um, but for the life of me, I cannot remember how it worked. This guy has got to die. I fucking hate these hell houses. Like, they, they take forever, and then... Ugh. They just do so much damage, and then they explode. And very, very, very annoying. Okay. So anyway, an update for the game for those not paying attention. We're going to be heading over to Wall Market, which is kind of my favorite part in Midgar. Next to the tower, the uh, tower climb, which is kind of fun. There's a lot of cool stuff to do in the tower. But uh, Wall Market is, I always thought was pretty cool. In terms of Midgar stuff. I don't know. Toddy, do you have any interesting Final Fantasy VII stories? No, it's just every time I see this, how do, how do we describe this? Uh, turn-based action? How do we remember Yeah, I mean, I mean, right now I think it's active turn-based, in which it's like real time, but it's also turn-based. Mm -hmm. So whenever I see this type of uh, gameplay, I always think of uh, what the hell is the name of that game? Par oh yeah, Parasite Eve. So whenever oh, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm watching these uh, battles that you're doing, I'm thinking of Parasite Eve and how much I loved that fucking game. Yeah, I, I wound up rebuying that. I found it at a pawn shop. I rebought it for my PlayStation. Really fun game. Strangely under or uh, underappreciated kind of. Definitely. Is this available on Steam? Oh my gosh. What Parasite <gasps> Eve? Yeah. Parasite Eve is available on Steam, really? No, I'm 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 asking. I'm gonna look well, right now. I don't know. <laughs> Cause I got excited. Like, oh, that sounds amazing. Yeah, well, I mean, there's a lot of PlayStation games out there for it, so... But, in terms of, like, 
like with Final Fan this Final Fantasy version is pure is the uh, computer version of it, not the PlayStation port, which is why the graphics look all fancy and high definition. Boom! Yeah, these guys are kind of kicking my ass right now. I think I just wanted to go fucking shop at the Walmart, man. You got slag beasts coming after me. <laughs> it, it, it brings me back to Skyrim when I'm just kind of walking across the road, and it's like <laughs> I see all these travelers going from town to town or whatever, but I also run into like wolves and spiders and big bandit buildings that they just automatically attack you. I'm like, how the fuck do these people get anywhere? I'm a I'm a stalwart hero over here. And these guys are just some random nobodies. <laughs> so I, I like to imagine if I followed them to a place that had a bunch of bandits and wolves and spiders and stuff, they would die every time. Oh yeah. It's just strange programming. Oh no, whatever will I do? Oh, did you want to do voices? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, just like, I, w I always play it nice with Aries because I like going on a date with her when we go to Gold Saucer. She was she was my first girlfriend. <laughs> we went on a date and I bought her things. <laughs> I'm I'm awesome. <laughs> it just it just reminded me of. Uh... George Takei. Oh my. <laughs> like, oh no, I never should have drank all those chemicals. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Aries was my first girlfriend. Oh my. <laughs> I took her to Gold Saucer and bought her things. I always love Billy West, um, he used to do, I think he originally did the George Takai voice that, oh my! Mm -hmm. And um, he used to talk about how he was on the Howard Stern show. And um, he would always do bits with doing George Takai's voice. And eventually they got George Takai on there. And the first thing he said was, someone's been doing my voice. Now I don't recall ever saying, oh my. And so ever since then, he's been doing it. <laughs> I always thought that was funny. I saw, I heard that on like Futurama commentary or something like that. And it was like, really? Billy West started that shit? And then George Takei ran with it? I mean, of course he did, because he's fucking George Takei. He's awesome. He's pretty funny. Always with his weird puns. Yep, on Facebook. Did you know he has a book? I, I imagined he did. It's called, Oh My, There Goes the Internet. Oh, is that the one, man? I remember there was one where it's talking about their li their career on Star Trek and how they just kind of rag on Captain Kirk Captain being Kirk kind of a prick, prick. Mm -hmm. or something like that. I can't remember if it was George Takei or somebody else. Oh no, it's a gigantic fucking turkey. It's a chocobo. It's a turkey. It's a chocobo. No. <laughs> That's a cute name. What, Chocobo? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it That's, sounds like a candy. I, I guess. I, I mean, it's what they're called. I don't... I have nothing else to say, but it's a Chocobo. <laughs> That's Chocobo music. I wonder if they've ever made, like, Final Fantasy cereal. Where like the marshmallow bits are like chocobos and <laughs> Cloud's head and stuff and Sephiroth's and nine inch sword. Oh giggity. Well that oh, would wow, take wow. the whole fucking box. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Just have like two pieces in there. <laughs> Pour both of them out, they just plop plop. It's like, ah you got both the swords, man, that's not fair. Break <laughs> that shit up. I want some of the sword. <laughs> Man, when I was a kid, I used to always think this was fog, but it's just like yellow dirt. Yep. Looks like They're looks like fucking fog. terrorist attack. Okay, here we go, Walmart. Yay! Yeah, I never realized. I always you always get slightly disappointed going back and playing games that you enjoyed when you were younger because I was 
Falcon 3 Tomb Raider, and the graphics were just awful. They're pretty bad, like it, man. I had that same feeling with Tomb Raider, <laughs> where I came back like, and I'm oh, like, oh my god. Like, it's all, it's like, uh, enclosed rooms that were actually jungles, like the texturing yeah. was an outdoor <laughs> jungle, but it was an enclosed room <laughs> that I, I could make that. 3D in, like, Blender or something that <laughs> I could have rendered myself, and I'm awful with 3D programs. Yeah, it was, wow. uh, I remember, like, lots of games did that, where they would just have, like, a big wall with just, like, tree texture on there. It's like, yeah, no, this exactly. is the forest. It's like, dude, come on. Give me a fucking break here. That is not a forest. <laughs> but I thought it was the most awesome thing ever when I was younger. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know. But you know what? We've become jaded now because of the graphics. Of, of... Skyrim and stuff, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I turned down the graphics on, um... Skyrim actually. I haven't pl I haven't seen the nice, beautiful graphics that Skyrim uh, has since it first came out because my computer can't handle it because it's so awful. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. I'm the same way. Where actually I have it on medium setting and it runs surprisingly well. I'm ha really happy about that because I I was expecting it to just start crapping up yeah. as, as most games do. And um, let's go ahead and sleep. Get a health pick. But yeah, it's a uh, it's one of those things where nowadays the graphics are getting so much better that sometimes we go back to the old games, look at them, and like, oh my god! But it's like yeah. with this one, man. It was like I was um, we were talking about the uh, the 3D print, the papercraft stuff. Yeah. And I um oh and also I used to think this cat was actually Kate Sith because I had the strategy guy. And I'm like, who the fuck is Kate Sith? And I'm like, oh, it must be this guy. They're gonna turn him into a character. It's like the kid's gonna make him into a. He's like, our cat's great. This one's a little big, huh? He's like, oh, he's talking about him. That means he's gonna be a character. And then that, I don't know why I thought that. And then this is pointless. But um, what was I just saying? Yeah, it was uh, like the paper graph thing, where it's like you could go for a uh, just like sculpt a realistic looking Cloud Strife or a Sephiroth and make him look all like a Todd McFarlane action figure. But yep. I like I. I I like the polygon guys. I like I like how they look in polygon yeah. form. It's just uh, it's just one of those things. So when I saw those three D prints, when I saw your paper craft, I'm just like, that that's what they look like. That's what they look like <laughs> in real life. <laughs> yeah, even when he was low poly, I had a thing for Sephiroth. That's just because I like the, I just love villains so much. <laughs> it's awful. Got a got a sick fetish there, woman. Got a sick fetish. Yeah. And then, um, but yeah, and I used to like him as, um, in the final battle, I mean, like I said in this, oh, I can't get in here, but like I said in this, I have yet to actually beat the game, but I've seen my brother beat it, and do the final battle in which you just on the lash Sephiroth and beat the crap out of him, but, um, I used to think that was pretty cool, too, that was like a step up, and then, and then probably, like, the worst of it was the, uh, the super fancy, we spent all our money on these CGI cutscenes, it was like those, yeah. those were the ones where I was like, nah, whatever. That's not what they look like. They're they're made of like four polygons. Yeah, uh, they did that in Parasite Eve too, where yeah. it was some yeah. nice cutscenes with like nice 3D graphic rendering. But then this, like the actual play, the the gameplay was the lowest poly crap ever. <laughs> yeah, and um, and it's like nowadays, like the cutscenes are in game mechanics and stuff. It's like, no, this is in-game yeah. stuff and blah, blah, blah. It's in-game graphics and yeah. mechanics and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, okay. And I, I had I once said, like, back during these days, like around 97, 98, turn of, the, turn of the century, I had basically said, I'm like, you know, eventually graphics are going to get so good where these CGI thing, cutscenes where we see, they're going to be just as good as the in-game graphics, man. Yep, and we're there. Yep. But I miss these days. Anyway, we're running out of time on this one. So until next time, I'm going to continue to aimlessly wander around Walmart for no reason. So uh, until next time, guys.